who is the head of Wopar brand worldwide. Pietro. Good morning, good morning everyone, and thank you for joining us also from my side. So 2017 is a very important year for Wopar. We celebrate 80 years of history. Mopar was actually born in 1937 as the brand of uh, an antifreeze product like this replica of the original can that uh, I have in my hand. And it is amazing to think that uh, after 80 years, from just a brand of a, of a, cat, of a cat, it became, it has become a global brand completely covering every element of uh, the service parts and after sales and customer care experience of our customers. And we have a lot of customers. If you put together all the vehicles of the Fiat Chrysler Corporation, we have 70, 70 million customers in the world. 70 million vehicles that we support in 150 countries in the world. So from uh, just the brand for a antifreeze product to a global brand. But uh, our focus uh, is not only on the vehicle, but is above all, as I said, on the customer. We actually define our purpose as the uh, only service of the people who drive us. And obviously we, pay, we play with the, with the, with the world uh, to drive. They drive our car, but they also drive us in what we do to support them. And we support customers in two ways. First, we provide service to their vehicles, but above all, to their lifestyle, with uh, particular attention to the evolving needs that they have. You know, in the next five, 10 years, the majority of the customers will be millennials. And millennials, they, they have different expectations. They expect uh, digital service. They expect immediate service. They, they are used. Of, uh, to the service that they get when they when they play with a telephone, with a, with a smartphone, or with a with a computer. So this is why, for in, for instance, we launched Y Advisor, an industry-first, a tablet-based reception tool that allows our dealers to do a paperless uh, reception in their dealership in. They, they are in that way able to retrieve all the information about the customers and they can really spend time really to understand what are the needs rather than just filling uh, uh, a piece of paper. And uh, this is why we were, Mopar, the first in the market to introduce Wi-Fi hotspots in our vehicles. And, uh, and more recently, wireless chargers for smartphones. And this is why, for instance, some years ago, we removed the bulky owner's manual, although it's available for those that they want it, and we put all the information about the car into a smartphone application. And since then, we had two million downloads of that application that are providing our customers the information at the tip of their fingers on their bar phone or tablet. And, uh, to continue to serve these customers in new ways, we are going to soon to launch over-the-air updates for, their, for the software of their car, so allowing them to have a, a, a quick, fast update of the software of their radio, the navigation system. And uh, I keep on saying that uh, when I look at my, uh, my two kids, uh, five years old, 10 years old, I know that they will be a totally different customer, and they expect this type of service, they expect this type of technology when they drive a car, when they will drive a car. Uh, so we are very excited uh, of, uh, of uh, this uh, ability to serve our customers uh, both in the traditional way, but also in, in, with new, new tools and new, uh, and, and new services. But for those customers that are still visiting our dealership, we want them to find a, a great, uh, to have a great experience. This is why we launched in uh, more than 1,700 express lanes around the, around the world uh, that allow quick uh, service without any appointment. This is why we are we are uh, boosting our 
uh, online schedule, scheduling so that you can uh, schedule your appointment online. Again, all these are requirements that are becoming absolutely uh, the fundamental uh, when, uh, when you deal with uh, new customers and when, particularly when you deal with the new generation of customers. But obviously, a big part of our business is still uh, to offer parts and accessories. And, uh, and we, we keep on offering parts and accessories uh, uh, because we know how important it is not only to service your car, but also to personalize your car. Uh, we have a portfolio of uh, 500,000, half a million per numbers. These are all parts that are used for servicing the cars. And they, in, inside that large portfolio, there are more than 25,000 parts that are just parts and accessories that are for the personalization, the customization of, uh, of, uh, of a car. Think about we ship uh, 100, 20 million parts every year from our uh, parts distribution centers. And uh, I tell you, despite all the new trends in the industry, more electric vehicles, more, in future, more autonomous driving, still personalizing your car is one of the most important why buy of a car. It's the reason why a customer is uh, choosing one car and one brand, the ability to make that car unique, to make, to make that car different from all the other cars that there are on the road. And, uh, and so this is, uh, this is why we have, uh, we have uh, uh, launched a number, not only of products, but uh, different ways of uh, uh, personalizing the car. And there is also a big business. Uh, over, over, worldwide, the accessory business is more than 70, 70 billion with a B dollars, uh, and it, it's growing. It's growing because, again, despite the, you may drive a car that is electric, that is an hybrid, you still want something different. You still want some. You still want something that is uh, expressing your personality, and, uh, and obviously, accessories are a big part of what we are global. Uh, this is why, for instance, we created the Mopar Custom Shops. Mopar Custom Shops uh, are shops, workshops that are nearby our nearby our production plants, and uh, so they allow us to take the car directly from the plant and uh, doing an upgrade, a personalization, a customization, and uh, delivering the car or the truck to the dealer and to the customer fully personalized. And there are a lot of advantages uh, to do something like that. First of all, we is faster. The car is arriving at the dealer already customized. Secondly, the fit and finish, the quality, the standards that we use for uh, uh, upgrading, customizing those cars are the same standards that we use in our production plants. So the fit and finish, the fit and finish is perfect. And uh, the parts are all included in the original warranty. That is also an advantage. The, car, the parts can be, because they are included in Maroni sticker, they can be financed. And obviously, they increase the residual value of the car. So it's been a very successful way to support the customization of our vehicles. And we have 12 custom shops in North America. We are starting opening custom shops in the rest of the world. And last year, we processed 270,000 vehicles in those custom shops. So think about uh, the potential uh, that we have when we offer uh, this opportunity to our dealers and our customers. And uh, the cars that you see on this stage have been customized in our, in our custom shops. They've been uh, fitted with uh, a lot of parts. And uh, you may remember that uh, since 2010, with the Mopar 10, we have started creating every year to celebrate the heritage of Mopar uh, limited edition vehicles. We started uh, actually with a Challenger in, uh, in 2010, the Mopar 10. It was actually the first, the first vehicle, despite we all call Mopars, the, the cars of uh, Fiat Chrysler and Chrysler before, it was the first time that a car was rolling out from a production uh, plant with a Mopar badge on. 
And, uh, and so to celebrate our 80 years of history, we decided to customize the vehicle that has the highest per unit accessory retail uh, in, in our portfolio. Think about customers spend an average of $1,000 of accessories for every Dodge Challenger that they buy. This is actually one of our most customized vehicles, together obviously with the, the Jeep Wrangler that uh, is another a great canvas for uh, uh, customization. So, to celebrate uh, our 80 years, here they are, ladies and gentlemen, the new Mopar 17 Dodge Challenger. Every one of uh, our uh, limited edition vehicles has a unique story. And uh, this year, these two vehicles are enhancing our, our DNA, our history, and uh, enhancing the performance, uh, the great performance already of uh, our, um, our, our brand and, uh, and, our, and of the Dodge Challenger. They are inspired by our 80 years and uh, we, we will build 80 units for each one of the two of the two models in the two colors, the, the blue and the and the and the gray. And they will be built uh, in our the kits will be assembled just uh, as soon as the car will leave the production plant uh, in uh, in our custom shop uh, nearby the plant where the Dodge Challenger is built. They will come also with a one-of-a-kind owner's kit. And this is something that is very important to us. When we launched the Mopar 10, we thought that we had to give uh, a particular, create a particular connection between the owner and the car. And so every one of the Mopar limited edition vehicle, uh, vehicles comes with uh, one, one uh, owner's, with an owner's kit that not only has uh, some memorabilia, some merchandising, but also the history of the car, and particularly the replica of the birth certificate of the car. And, uh, and that makes the car not only a great car, but particularly a unique car and a collectible car.